Hi and welcome to Vintage Doll Collector. I'm at the Seacoast Doll, Bear, and Folk Art Show in Northampton, New Hampshire today. Here's a nice selection of cloth dolls. The one in the middle has a very sweet face. The hand-painted pair in the front are meant to represent an Amish couple. The doll on the left is a horseman babyland rag from the early 20th century. She has a lithographed face. The handmade doll on the right is from an Edith Flack Ackley pattern. Some very pretty German Biss dolls all ready to dress. A lovely grouping of Kathy Cruz dolls. Here's a Hildegard Cromer doll with a carved wooden head and cloth body. This cool dude is a German art doll. And these are Armin Marseille 390s, dressed in regional costumes. Here's a pretty china head doll in plaid, and next to her is a wooden folk art doll. Nancy Stronzek has a nice selection of vintage dolls, including Miss Nancy Ann, Sissette, Jan, and Jeff. I think the little compo doll in the front is a Vogue Toddles. This booth has some modern dolls and several books on dolls for sale. Here's a couple of newer sissy dolls by Madame Alexander. Pat Campbell specializes in the antique German dolls. This boy with molded hair is by Kling. The black doll has a paper mache head. The little boy in the blue checked outfit is Hoybach. This is the Collins Gifts booth. These unique bears are made by Oz Matilda in Australia. Some great animals by Craig Yankee. Each one is made by hand. I love the cow. This awesome polar bear has claws made from polymer clay. He's by Candy Taylor. Oh, check out this adorable sleeping mouse by Stevie T. He's needle felted from alpaca fiber. Here at the United Federation of Doll Clubs table are some souvenirs from past conventions. This sweet all bisque reproduction doll is by Darlene Lane. Catherine Longo is here with her handmade primitive rag dolls called Raggedy Works of Heart. This table has some nice hand-knitted things for your dolls. We have an author with us at the show today. Karen Richards Toothacre is signing copies of her book, The Ragdoll Gift, which is also available on her website, inyourheartbooks.com. This Native American doll on the left is a one-of-a-kind artist creation by Susan Weir. These are Schmaltz orphan dolls made by Harold Neighbor, who also made the Neighbor Kids. I see a mermaid doll, and the two cuties on the left are by Susan Dunham. Stephen Lamoretti always has great vintage fashion dolls and accessories. Here's Dawn's Beauty Parlor. And this is a rare Yolanda doll by Madame Alexander from the 1960s. Shirley Tully has a nice selection of small dolls. These little ones on the right are by Betty Curtis. She was an early Nyata artist. Some other handmade dolls. I see a couple of hitties. These antique dollhouse dolls are wonderful. take a closer look at some of them. The doll on the right here is by Deanne Cody. And this hitty is by Michael Langton. Shirley has some lovely little animals and character dolls too. This is a Theodore Wendt Biscuit doll. 
Here's a Ginny gift set from the 1970s with two extra outfits. And here are a few of the newer Ginnies. The Guillantiques booth has some great character dolls. Love the English Bobby. What an expression. Some nice old compo dolls. The bigger doll in the back is an F&B little lady. The character doll in front of her is a Baby Snooks Flexi doll by Ideal from the 1940s. The Guillantiques guys have some wonderful French and German bisque head dolls too. And everyone is beautifully dressed. Here's a Mary Hoya doll with a trunk full of clothes. This is Nancy and Sluggo by Georgine Averill. They're cloth dolls with molded mask faces. And here are a pair of old cottage toys dolls together with the Betsy McCall and Shirley Temple. Some lovely 50s hard plastic dolls. Now we'll go back and take a closer look at some of the antiques. The tall lady doll here is a Simon Halbig mold number 1159, I believe. This one is a Cameron Reinhardt Simon Halbig 122 toddler with flirty eyes. And this is a K-Star R117A. Here's a closer look at the lady. Isn't she beautiful? More German bisques. This is a Steiner doll in a nice big size, 27 inches tall. A Heinrich handwork doll. C.M. Bergman, Simon Halbig. Look at this wonderful folk art painting. Here's a group of miniature bears and things. More cool miniatures. Check out this little bathroom, adorable. Joe Cyrene's booth has some Norman Rockwell dolls made from characters in his paintings. She has some great miniatures as well. Priscilla Lent has these Daisy Kingdom dolls. F&B reproduction Patsy. And here's some little Miss Revlons. Ian Tardy has this really nice Madame Alexander Lissy doll with a wardrobe of clothes. And some crib crowd Ginnies. Some more 50s dolls. That's American character Tony in the red and white dress. This is a rare cloth Madame Alexander Dion quintuplet doll with a flocked face. Here are some Asian dolls in Joanne Libby's booth. Raggedies. And some hard plastic Nancy Ann storybook dolls. There's little Lulu. This is the Fantasy Den. They specialize in bears and other plush animals by Gund and Douglas and Mary Meyer. I love these owls. They have unicorns and dragons too. This is a Connie Lynn baby doll made by the same company that made the Terry Lee dolls. She's pretty hard to find. She has some sweet vintage bears for company. And there's Uncle Wiggly. Next to him is a Kessner 143. This China Head doll has a wonderful outfit. I love the brown and black color combination. Carol Black has this mystery doll. What a beautiful face. This is a Hoiback Koppelsdorf breather, which means she has pierced nostrils. Look at this grumpy little baby. The one in the middle here is a K-Star Art 126 toddler, and next to her is an unmarked Kessner. There's a few American Girl dolls. I love these little dolls made from Gail Wilson kits. Lots of beloved Belindies and Raggedies. A pair of adorable Stife monkeys. The guy with the mustache is an early R. John Wright doll. 
It's hard to tell from the video, but that's a big China Head doll. I love this character boy, too. Next to him is a tiny tears. Queen Louise looks like a snow queen in that outfit, doesn't she? A nice selection of small dolls and dogs. Shoes for all occasions. You might recognize a few of these dolls from my other videos, because this is my booth. I brought several composition dolls with me today. There's the Simon Halbig and Ernst Grossman dolls from my last video. This is a nice old paper mache. Thanks for tagging along to the doll show with me today. Please like and share to help spread the word and click on the subscribe button or the logo in the lower right corner for more vintage doll collector videos. See you next time.